What's up guys, welcome to another video. Um, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of stuff. I figured I'd start off in the basement where I usually start all my days. So I'll go ahead and tell you guys what I'm doing here. So we are starting the day off with two orders. All of this is custom order that I collected for a guy for third gen prelude. This is an Acura Legend um, light that sold on eBay. So I gotta get this stuff packed up and then we're gonna hit the post office and then we are going to start pulling the engine out of the Lexus because somebody bought it. All right, so I'm not going to give you guys a step-by-step -step on how to package things because you can learn that in my school. But I got to wrap this in bubble wrap. Same thing with this. Toss it in the box, go to the post office, and we're done. Okay, so obviously this is probably unnecessary, right? Like this thing is wrapped up real good. And I added packing peanuts. Why did I do that? It's not really even so that the package makes it there. It's honestly more for the customer experience because this bubble wrap is sure to be enough, but when they open it up and they see the bubble wrap, the packing peanuts, the business card, um, they're gonna come back to buy more. That's just how it works when they buy something. When you buy something and you get it, and you get a sticker or a magnet or a business card or it's packed up really nice, you always remember that and it makes you wanna order again. So do the same thing with this guy. We'll be on our way to the post office. Again, every single item individually bubble wrapped, combined with packing peanuts and a business card. Customer is gonna be very happy to open this because it's not just gonna be a random box of parts. It's going to be a well-packed and very presentable box of parts that he needs so badly to fix his very car. Um, Caseparts.com. All right. This dude didn't pay, so I'm just taking out this single box here, and then we're going to start on the Lexus. All right, so before I go, I just wanted to get a quick plan laid out. Um, I think what I'm going to do today is just finish disconnecting everything that is not too major. So, like, take out the radiator, drain the coolant, disconnect any hoses, take the wiring harness clips out that are attached to the chassis. So for example, like this right here, this obviously this goes to the engine. You can see that, but it's connected to the chassis here. So like things like that. And then we'll see where we're at with time. I'm not trying to spend all day on this. I don't need to get it done today. I just want to get started on it. And then tomorrow we'll probably get it jacked up, take off the exhaust, the drive shaft, and then see if we can just pull the whole thing out. I've never pulled a V8 before. I've never pulled a rear wheel drive engine before. So, and we're pulling this because somebody purchased it. And you guys know that I'm going to be dropping a motor in here one day. Of All right, I'm back home now. So I am going to familiar, familiar, familiar arise. I'm going to get myself familiar with this engine bay. Um, and what I'm going to have to do and kind of just get a mental idea of how to pull this thing while also just slowly picking at it. So I will let you guys know when something happens. All right. So I got like the radiator and out and the power steering reservoir, pretty much all of the front stuff here that has liquid in it. I did spill a little bit, not a big deal. I can always just <clears throat> voice crack. I can always just wipe off my uh, driveway or power washer or whatever it's not a huge deal at all it is my driveway after all um so here's the stuff radiator battery tray just like power steering fluid reservoir just random stuff pretty much just to give myself room but i'm not going to get carried away i'm going to call it for the day on this because it's already getting dark and i do want to clean up a little bit and then i also just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute all right, so it is currently the next day, and today this package needs to get a label on it because yesterday he didn't buy it. We just got it packed up for him because it was a custom order and we knew he was going to buy it. And then also overnight we did sell some small stuff. So I'm going to get this packed up and then I'm going to go ahead and mess with the Lexus for a little bit and we'll see how far we get. So I did want to talk to you guys about a few things. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with my school community or not, but I will tell you a little bit about it. Basically, it is called the Parts Network. And within the Parts Network, I teach you guys everything you need to know to start making money selling car parts. I teach you guys exactly 
how I started selling car parts and how I've got to the point where I'm at today. And it is 100% free. Within that group, there are multiple things that you can unlock and gain just from being active. For example, when you get to level six, you'll actually get a free Kaiusha parts shirt. And on top of that, every single month, I give away cash prizes to the top three most active people. And the prizes are gonna go up every single month. So you can get money for free just for being active and you can also win prizes for leveling up. So if you guys are interested in the school community, make sure you check out the link in my description where I will have the about page linked. All right, they are done. And then real quick while I'm still in the basement, this is what the school looks like on the inside. There is a community of people that all hang out and talk. And then there's a classroom, start here. You check out the video go back and then you can start watching the week one training which is like 30 minute videos each that i make about how to source parts and whatnot as you can see there's people in here that are selling parts for really cheap there's people in here that are just getting started asking questions um there's a lot of different people in here and they all are in the same niche as us so if you want to join here it is and uh here's what it looks like here's the leaderboards so let's check it out. All right, so this is the leaderboards. As you can see, right now, Joshua, Gavin, and Max are going to make money this month. So far, they're going to make money. Joshua will make 50, Gavin will make 30, and Max will make 20. Just for being active in school. Check it out. So I have majority of the stuff disconnected to pull the engine, fuel, coolant, power steering, AC, most of the vacuum lines, I still need to finish up getting the wiring harness disconnected. But let's see, what else is there really? I think there's just, I, I need to finish up the power steering lines, I know that. And then I need to jack it up and see what's all connected underneath. Oh, and the exhaust, that's going to be pain. And then the drive shaft. So I've got stuff to do, but I am going to end it for today because I picked a bunch of little things off the list. I'm not trying to rush this. I'm not in a rush at all, and I do have other stuff to do. But we will continue tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to really lock in and try and get everything off of it. Get this motor ready to come out and possibly even pull it tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be all day on this thing. I just wanted to pick away at it for pick the way at it for maybe an hour, hour and a half. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I start picking at this thing again. All right, not sure where we last left off, but this one UZ is about to come out. One second. So yeah, we've got everything pulled out. Um, I'm having an issue with my jack right now. So the car is not on the ground, but I think it's gonna come out. So I'm gonna get some tires. Oh, something's still attached. What is it? Um, no, it's not attached. It's just, okay. Okay, this thing is almost out. Okay, that is uh, my first and George's first V8 pull. I didn't record a whole lot because this was kind of a multi-day process where I kind of left halfway because we had a we, trip we went out to, the to mountains. We, yeah, we went out to the mountains and uh, yeah, so the one UZ has been pulled out of this. Somebody's coming to pick it up today and that leaves us with a bare SC 400 to put an engine and transmission in or do whatever we want with. But the guy that I watched a video on, he ended up cutting this off we were in a pinch here because that jack stopped working and so did that jack. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to fix them. So this thing ended up staying on jack stands, which was a challenge Can't to get this over. But we ended up just like slipping it over pretty much exactly like this once it was out. Super easy. I would say this is equally as easy as a Honda. Ooh, there's a lot of fluid leaking. I'm going to have to power wash my driveway. But yeah, it's, I would say it's as easy as a Honda. Um, just first time for everything. So here it is, 1UZ SC shell. Let's get it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed seeing me pull out the 1UZ from that Lexus. I actually ended up selling the 1UZ for $1,000 locally, and then I sold the ECU on eBay for $550. So pretty decent profit so far on the Lexus part out. If you guys enjoyed seeing me part out the Lexus and want to learn more about sourcing parts, you guys can check out my free school in the description. If you guys watch my videos, you know that 
part outs are not the only way to get parts. Junkyards are also a really, really good source for parts. And that is something that I also cover in my community. If you guys enjoy the videos that I make, then you'd probably enjoy being in the community because I basically just make more in-depth videos going to junkyards, parting out cars, shipping stuff, um, how to sh set up your eBay, how to list parts on eBay, how I ship glass, how I ship door cards. Pretty much anything you need to know to start selling car parts is in the free community. I have a one week course in there. It's like five videos, they're 30 minutes a piece. Watch them and you will literally know everything you need to know in order to start making money. There's already people in the group that have started. There's people in the group that are selling parts for insanely good deals to help people just get started. So the free community has really grown the past month and it's something that I am gonna continue to nurture and provide value to. So if you guys wanna learn how to start sourcing and selling car parts, make sure you guys check out the free community. Link is in the description. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like and comment what you wanna see in the future. If you guys are new, subscribe. Anyways, it has been your boy Nick. I am out. Peace.